Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I wanted to tell everybody about a huge decision that has come out of a court saying that a restraining order stopping the right of people to keep and bear arms is unconstitutional. You're going to want to watch this one. Now, interestingly enough, this case came down uh, here just about 36 hours ago in Texas, in the Western District of Texas. And I'm going to jump right into this. The way the court, uh, the judge opens this, um, this opinion is phenomenal. I think you all should listen to it because they're finally getting it right, thanks to Bruin. So here is the memorandum opinion of the judge in this case. It says, Before Bruin, the Second Amendment looked like an abandoned cabin in the woods. A knot of vines, weeds, and roots left unkempt for decades, crawling up the cabin's sides as if pulling it under the earth. Firearm regulations are that overgrowth. Starting with the Federal Firearms Act, laws were passed with little, if any, consideration given to their constitutionality. That is, until the Supreme Court intervened in Bruin. No longer can lower courts account for public policy interests, historical analysis being the only tool. But after growing unchecked for almost 100 years, today's tangle of gun laws have left lower courts with a Gordian knot. And after engaging with this nation's tradition of firearms regulation several times already, the court's unanswered question is whether Bruin demands lower courts manicure the Second Amendment's landscape by scalpel or chainsaw. Now, during the search, the agents also found a Kentucky state order in the defendant's wallet, and it's a court order, and it outlined his conditions of release stemming from his May 22 arrest for assault. The government later discovered a separate restraining order against the defendant from a Kentucky family court. The defendant was indicted in June of 2022 for one count under 18 U.S.C. 922 G8, which makes it a crime to possess a firearm while subject to a court order. And 922 G8 is specific to a restraining order for domestic violence. Uh, and they challenged this, saying that that law does not pass the sniff test under Bruin. And as judge in his uh, order here goes all the way back to the, the beginnings of the country and says that there was no such thing. There was a restraining order. In fact, the law, 19 U.S.C. 922 G8 was enacted in 1994, and in the judge's order, he said even Amazon is older than this law, so how can it pass the history and tradition part of Bruin's requirement? So he did go way back to find if there were any other traditions of uh, this type of law, any other, any other, anything that he could point to in the Bruin requirement of text, history, and tradition. So we know it's not in the text. He did talk about some uh, colonies who had pitched amendments uh, during the constitutional process uh, for uh, keeping guns from uh, people who were not peaceable citizens. There's a couple different examples he gave. Uh, he said, but, but, a proposed amendment is just that. It is a proposed amendment. amendment. It is not an amendment. And he kept going through and he said that there was nothing in the traditions of this country back then, uh, which uh, took away the right to keep bare arms for somebody who beat their wife. In fact, he said historically um, that there weren't even a lot of prosecutions for that. There was more um, kickback in the religious community, the Puritans in the Massachusetts Bay Area and all over New England. He even said that some punishments were such like sitting in the stocks uh, or being made to pay a fine um, and uh, get you know ten lashes, but again, that's that was a Puritans thing. That wasn't the um, the American uh, tradition. And he even said this: he said the court's opinion says nothing about whether a state court could remove someone's guns through conditions of release or a restraining order. But by piggybacking off a state court's order, 922 G8 has other problems besides its lack of supporting history. 922 G8 does not require someone to be disarmed, that's more of a state law issue. So let's jump right to the conclusion because this is the best part. He says, how strictly or flexibly a court reads Bruin impacts its conclusion. Bruin's mandate is that gun regulations constitutionality hinge solely on its historical inquiry. According to Bruin, 
that can be this court's only consideration. This court concedes, therefore, that a court reading Bruin strictly could have arguably stopped after section 4 of this opinion. That said, this court embraces Bruin's charge. Thus, after sifting through the history above, this court finds that the government did not prove that section 922 G8 aligns with this nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation and declines the government's invitation to insert its own public policy concerns rather than following Bruin. As a result, the court holds that Section 922G8 is unconstitutional under Bruin's framework. It is therefore ordered that defendant's motion to dismiss indictment be granted. It is so ordered. Signed this 10th day of November, 2022. And that's David Counts, the U.S. District Court Judge in the Western District of Texas. And 922G8 has been ruled unconstitutional. Now that is going to cause a lot of anti-gun heads to explode which is why I'm getting this out there. I want people to know what their rights are. The purpose of this channel is to educate people about the Second Amendment as well as all of the attempts to get rid of it. All of the victories we have, all of the defeats we have, and we haven't had many defeats in a long time. We have attempts, lots of attempts, which is why I do the education part. But this judge just destroyed a heavily, heavily leaned on unconstitutional law and destroyed it and that was it was great so i'm going to pin this order down below i really suggest you read it uh it's 32 pages but it's not if you know how to read court if you've read court papers it's double spaced and all that stuff it's not really a lot of reading um good on this judge guys and gals please pass this along like this video share this video and subscribe to guns and gadgets this is where you will get news on a daily basis on the second amendment whether it's good bad ugly or indifferent I will bring it to you so that you will be better educated about what's going on with the political hacks in the Second Amendment world. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, yourself, your family, your community, this country, safe. That's what it's for, and that's what it will always be for, no matter how hard we have to fight to keep it. Y'all have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.